Hello, it's -a me, Mario, and today I'll be doing a Nintendo merchandise update. Uh, it's been a while since I made a Nintendo merchandise video. Uh, oh yeah, fun fact. If you ever, if, if some of you may already know this, but but I'm but, but this channel, some of the videos this channel's made is inspired by Super Mario Logan. And uh, well, the way he used to be. Now, I'll be starting off with things that are boxed up, but it's still in the original box. Starting off with a Mario Amiibo and a Bowser Amiibo, still in the original box. So as Mario Kart boxes, there's Luigi on top unboxed, here's Peach, and here's me riding my cool car. Little wings on the back, kind of like my hat. Uh, now here's a World of Nintendo golden painted micro action figures in their box too. Of course, the stuff I get that's still in the box I'm not gonna remove. And here's a Luigi in his cart and an A posing Luigi. It's basically like T posing but in an A position. Alright, now let's go to the stuff on top of the TV. First, start off with these old, old springy flying raccoon Mario power up toys from McDonald's back in the 1980s. This is very hard to get working. It requires two hands. Uh, well, I definitely do have two hands available, but these are very difficult to do. A Yoshi, unfortunately missing the saddle. A Mario that glows. Let me let me turn it on. And a Yoshi fell over. Come on. Now here it is in action. Pretty cool, isn't it? And we got a little vintage finger puppet Mario. Of course. With this uh, raccoon power up. I think this is from McDonald's. Uh, hey Mario! Knock knock! Who's there? Er, why not check who's there yourself next time? That was the stupidest pun. Or knock knock joke. Whatever. Uh, sorry about that. Now time for something else cool. Here. Donkey Kong action figure. Get a nice look at it. It looks pretty much like Donkey Kong out of the game. And here's the World of Nintendo Princess Peach action figure still in the box. Uh, well, almost. It's, it still has its packaging material. Mm hmm. Now, time to go to the things next to the Wii. Starting off, you can see two. Giant Mario and Luigi action figures, along with a little Mario Kart Mario and Luigi. Another Mario Kart Mario, but missing the car. And here's a Toad action figure, missing one arm, unfortunately. Now, time for one of my most favorite things, one of my most prized possession. Go to bed. Now, it's the moment you've been waiting for. My Mario t-shirt! Yep, I got a t-shirt with a nice retro picture of me printed on it. Uh, holding a nice mushroom. Mm-hmm. Well, for some reason, shapes weird. Uh, you, if, the, if the top of it was uh, purple and black, it would be the Waluigi mushroom. Also with the nice pink nose and the zigzag mustache. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, and also, it looks like a uh, like, uh, doing with the whole with the whole uh, just dance for the Wii versus Call of Duty World War Two reveal review. I meant uh, reveal review. It's hard. To, it's hard to say one of them. Um, but it looks like Call of Duty World War Two won. Uh, so yeah, uh, soon. Just whenever we can, whenever it's not dark outside, we shall get working on 
the Call of Duty World War II review. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.